What's up fellow Olympians? Today we're going to bring you cards that can stop the Monarch deck or put them on hold, delay them, just so that way you can get your own field set and possibly beat them now since they're a hard deck to get over. You're going to see me occasionally, more than occasionally, probably look up over here because I have notes on the computer so that way I can't forget what I'm supposed to tell you. Yes, it could happen, people forget things, so I just don't want to forget all the topics. But there are eight cards that I think that will help you beat the monitor deck or really slow them down. The first one will be Blast held by a tribute. Next with tribute monster, destroy all attack position monsters they control and inflict a thousand damage. That's a good card just for the fact that you take out the monarchs and you know they tribute all the time, so you're gonna be able to blow that field up. The only thing that can stop you from that happening is March of the Monarchs since it protects all the tribute monsters. If that's not on the field, yeah, you can blow up the whole, almost a lot, unless they special summon, like from the hand or something like they do, but actually no, I'm wrong about that, because it says all attack position monsters. Activate when a tribute monster destroys, oh, all attack position monsters. Yeah, declares attack, so I'm right. When a tribute monster declares an attack, you can activate the card, destroy all attack position monsters, and then you inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. So, this card does come in handy. It's not one of the top cards I would suggest getting, but it does come in handy, especially since you can inflict a thousand damage to them. Have three of them in your deck, they got three thousand damage, as long as they don't have March Out. I guarantee you, they're probably going to learn to get March Out after they get with us the first or second time. So. That one's a good card. The next card we're going to go with is Divine Wrath. When a monster acti activates an effect, discard a card, negate the effect, and destroy that card. This is a get. This is good against uh, Idea, Ide Ideos, if I'm saying the name right, could probably be saying it wrong, but that's good against those two, just for the fact that when Idea gets on the freaking field, pop that card, discard a card from your hand, so that way you can stop her effect and get rid of her. Because she's the one that's bringing out with the normal summon. She brings out Ideos for a special, another special summon, or a tribute summon. So they can get one of the powerful cards out in case they don't have domain out. That card could really hurt them. Especially how they'll have open field. And nothing, hopefully nothing in the back row since they don't play a lot of traps. That really stop you. Some people play Mirror Force and other things. But not many decks play Mirror Force or anything that will hurt you really. So you have open field. And you could possibly OTK them if you can get that out at the right time. If you go first, actually. Um, next card would be Force Back. It says negate the normal or flip summon of a monster and return it to the hand. Very good against the idea again. Because this card is one that comes out, everybody plays this first turn. They don't really do much else. This is like their main moves. It's good idea. Summon, special summon, ideals, do the other normal summon, or yeah, get an extra normal summon, tribute, get a high power card on the field, whoever they want to get out. So many options. This one returns idea back to the hand, so that way she doesn't get her effect in the graveyard. And again, another open field, so that way you could have free reign, because they don't really run traps, a lot of them again. But um, I think it's good so that way. You have open field, possibly get them out, kill them again. Um, next card will be Intercept. One of my other favorite cards. Let me tell you what it does real quick. Activate when a monster is tribute summoned using only one tribute. Then take care. Ah, then take control of it. Now, I know you're probably going to say, I've had some people tell me that's not a good card, only because they tribute summon two. It's not true. Domain, when on the field, they activate domain, lower the number of the level by two, so that way it only takes one tribute. As soon as they attribute that one, you now got the control of their monster. So it's not after this, after that battle phase, after nothing. You take control of it immediately. So they don't get to activate that effect that they're doing to special summon somebody else. So you get that, they can't hurt you then. And I believe it also doesn't target so March cannot stop it so you just got yourself a Monarch card hopefully an open field unless they have someone else on the field stupid prime 
But open field caused a lot of damage again. I really like intercept. Next card, mask of restrict. Cannot be cards cannot be tribute summoned. Um, this card, although it's like ten dollars, twelve dollars now, I think, just because people are running this to so stop it. I think this is the only card that people really know about, and they like got the price really up there now. But this card really does stop monarchs. If they don't have a MST, a Twin Twister, anything else to take this card out, it causes so much damage since all they could do was put out the low beaters. They have really no backup to anything that's going on. So that's also a great card. That's probably the number one card that you probably should go to. But if you don't want to pay like the twelve dollars for three of them, then I understand getting the other ones because other ones are like a dollar, thirty cents, forty cents, how much ever. But yeah, Mask of Restrict is definitely one of the cards that you should get. Next one is called Pulling the Rug. And yeah, probably another card that no one's really heard of. It says negate the activation of an effect monster who used effect when normal summon and destroy that monster. Again, this is a card that you want to use on idea. Right away you know when she comes on the field, they get to special summon, Idios, Idios, however you say his name. Stop the effect right there. Destroy idea no more special summon now you have an open field again for monarchs so it hurts them the laser turns and if you have all these things backed up for monarchs I would, I would say side deck it because you don't want to put this in your main deck only when you're playing monarchs but that's another card that will stop idea and delay the game letting you get all your monsters out and hopefully being able to end the game right then and there on your turn next card will be skill drain we all know what skill drain does. If you don't, it stops all the monster effects on the field only. So in the hand, you could activate. Graveyard, you could activate. It stops them on the field. This could hurt you as well, just for the fact that you got to make sure that you don't need any of the effects of your monsters because it stops yours too. It's good to play right off the bat if you can get a monster out that you need. And they have like nothing out, so they can't get ideas effect or any other person's effect so you could kind of bounce right over idea knock her off the field since I think she's 800 knock her off the field attack directly and keep causing damage that way uh, the last card on this one uh, one of my favorite cards I think really really causes a lot of damage for monarchs if played the right way Fog King Fog King's also another expensive card I think it's like $12 a card run two of him in the deck you can stop monarchs. Let me read to you what he says. Um, you can tribute him using one or zero cards. Um, when he's on the field, he gains attack of the tributed of the combined tributed monsters. I recommend tributing him with two monsters because he's a high level in stars, over six. Can't see right now because I forgot. But tribute him with two monsters, especially if you have pendulum monsters when you can pin summon. You get like three out there. Do two of them, hopefully you have like a 1800, 2500 monsters, combine them together. Then it's going to be hard to get off the field. Once it's on the field, cards cannot be tributed. So, that really puts a halt to Monarchs. Really stops them like in their tracks. Plus you have this high monster on the field now that can keep attacking over the... Whoever else they got out. They don't really have many options after that because they have Idea and Ideos and Primes in the graveyard. Prime can summon himself out to the defense position but they don't have a lot of options after you keep attacking them especially with such a high tribute monster that you have in Fog King I think he's a really good card to have if you want to pay the money I would say one or two of him just depending on your deck too you really gotta think about your deck and see how many monsters you can summon out at a time because you don't want to go with zero he's a zero attack you cannot summon him normal summon him with no nothing tribute I don't recommend tribute summoning him with like 1800 because people could still get over like 1800. I would say combine two monsters together, get a really high attack so it's really hard to get off the field. Yes, they can get you off the field with like Regeki, Dark Hole, something like that. But it's still worth it to like really put a slow him down so that way you could get 3000 attacks like directly almost all the time because really. They have idea, they have to get them back into the thing, special summon. They're going to run out of cards since you have to banish some cards from them. These are the cards that I think, actually, 
You shouldn't even think because you kind of know that they're going to stop the Monarchs. They'll slow them down. Um, I'll post them up in the comments below. So that way you can read the effects, read what they do, decide if you like them, decide if you want to use them in the deck. I recommend at least looking at them and getting some of the cards. I know Mask of Restrict is definitely on there. Fog King is definitely on there. Just has to go with your deck for one. Um, I also like the Intercept since you can take control of the monster. It will cause so much trouble for the Monarch player. These cards will help you beat them or go over them, delay them. But you can get over Monarchs with some of these eight cards. Uh, we'll be bringing you more cards on how to beat other decks. We're going to try to do this every Friday, get a video out every Friday. So that way you guys can see cards that will stop top decks, low decks, I don't care what deck it is. You're going to get cards that will stop it. Um, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, we appreciate the comments. We appreciate all the subscribers. Thank you guys.